Hey, Darren Campbell with Confident Home Solutions, general contractor remodeler in North Carolina. We are talking about hole saws in this video and we're going to break it down for the DIYer and for the possible contractor that doesn't own very many tools. <laughs> We've been around them. So let me explain to you. DIYer, uh, they need to drill a two and a half inch hole, uh, whether it's in sheetrock or plywood or what have you. So they're wondering, what do I need to do it? They own a drill, uh, they're gonna go buy a hole saw, and you say, well, what do I need? Well, let me explain to you. There's three different type of arbors that you need to be prepared to understand what and whether they'll work with your drill. All right, so two different versions right here. Both of these are 5 16 and we'll get to that here in a bit. This right here, without these two dimples, um, this right here, this arbor, is going to fit for inch and an eighth and less hole saws. That's pretty much where the cutoff is. This style that has that shoulder with the dimples fits, I think it's inch and a quarter and larger. And when you, when you run it in, then you push that into there and it locks it in. That's, that's how you engage the lock on that. Now, remind, remind you, when I brought that 5 16 up, you need to be mindful because when you go above, um, when you go into the bigger hole saws, inch and a quarter and larger, you're going to be given two different choices the 5 16 and a 7 16. You say, well, what does that matter? Well, it matters concerning your drill because, like, concerning this excellent DeWalt. DCD 701, this uh, 12 volt DeWalt here. This is an awesome little drill, has a ton of power, but this only has a 3 8 chuck. Well, let's do our math. 7 16s, can we fit a 7 16 ar um, arbor inside a 3 8 chuck? Faithful assistance. No. Oh. <laughs> he says no. Let's try it out. Well, <laughs> good thing I listened to them. So that means I got to make sure that I choose to buy a 5 16 just so we're clear. We're not talking about the hole saw, we're talking about the arbor. I need to buy a 5 16 if I'm running a drill that has a 3 8 and smaller chuck. Now, you get into larger drills, they're typically going to be half inch, so this is not a concern then. But you need to be mindful of that because it even catches us. We'll be out on a job uh, to where we're just needing to punch a hole through, and you know, our kits a lot of times have the 7 16 arbors in them for running the big stuff. Let's say we need to go through with a real small hole saw, and we're in the job and we got the smaller drills, and then we got to make a trip to get the smaller arbor, so it even catches the pros off occasionally. Now let's talk about hole saws. We already identified the inch, inch and an eighth typically and less is going to use the one that is just a screw in arbor. And then the larger one, larger hole saw is always going to have the lock in dimples. So, that being said, if, if I were to somewhat guess, you know what, let me propose a question to a sidekick. This little 12 volt, how large a hole do you think it's capable of handling? Three and a half to four inch. What? I don't know. <laughs> Unless this thing's all hyped up in some supersonic juice. I don't expect that. Not only that, let me, let me see, do we have a, this looks like a four inch right there. No, that's four and a half. Here's a four and a quarter. Let me look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that even look, that's like a gorilla riding a mini bike. <laughs> well, I 
<laughs> yes, we try. I, I do believe this is going to work just fine in um, uh, uh, drywall, but plywood, I'm not for certain about. But you know what? Hey, we're going to test it. So, and yeah, that's not going to work, is it? So that's where your bigger drills come in. They're going to have additional support. You got a handle that you can rock out, and on top of that, you can rock it into your body as you're coming down. We're going to show that to you here in a minute, how to do that. Uh, this right here, I'm not sure what you're going to rock into your body. You're so close to the hole, so I guess you can, but you're a little, I'm going to be cutting into my gut at that point. Uh, then you got the big guy right here, and I'm not sure what. You're going to need what this. Is it? What? And this. Oh, I forgot, this thing has a stupid, I guess we should take the horse and carriage to work. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, let's get to showing you actually how to drill a hole through plywood, drywall. All right. Okay, so what we have here is a four inch on that DeWalt 12 volt, um, and he's going to drill through the drywall. Let's do it. Okay, with these, a couple things you need to know about with plywood. One is you're going to have to go into it considerably slower than with uh, uh, drywall. Um, there's a lot more chance of kickback going into this uh, plywood as far as the bit jamming and it twisting, so you got to be mind more mindful of uh, hurting your wrist. And so you're going to want to lock that up into your body. So why don't you show them how to do that? Now, if this was a surface that you were really concerned about uh, um, being harmed, tear out, what have you, you would run this backwards just enough to cut into it a little bit. Then you would switch to forward. And Harley's going to show you where he, uh, he's already done the backwards um, for about, yeah, I don't know. 20, 30 revolutions. Now he's going to drill a good way through. We're going to flip the plywood and finish drilling on the back side for the reason of the tear out. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so Harley has drilled about are you 50% through? Uh, probably about 70. Okay, 70% through. He has stopped. We have the pilot drill so he can come in here. He's going to run it backwards for just a couple revolutions and then finish knocking that hole out because he wants to save the veneer on the edge of this. Okay, so there's one other method I'm going to show you. And I want to caution you that <laughs> you need to you need to be really careful on doing this because um, you can get injured doing this. So um, if you're trying to come into here, first off, I don't feel like moving this pilot drill, but um, drill, it's going to end up coming right here. But let's say we needed to open this, and that's not going to hit anything. Well. <laughs> For this example, I am actually locking into this plywood. Now, this, the table is actually going to be beneficial here. But I'm going to run this wide open and slowly pull it down in. And I got to go in really, really soft. That's how a pro does it. Well, let me tell you, when I first started drilling, um, <laughs> when I first started drilling these, it didn't look that good. And that drill was flying everywhere. So that, that one right there, I, I've done them enough to I can do it. But you can't come in here and just expect to come down like this, because <laughs> it'll
I'm exaggerating right there, but um, sometimes it's worse than that. So, hey, hopefully you learned something in this. You know, we just got thinking about not everybody knows how to run a hole saw. It seems pretty simple to us, um, but you know, if you can remember a couple things to lock that thing into yourself, into your body, um, and on delicate surfaces to run that hole saw backwards. You know, that'll save, save you a lot of grief. So, all right, hit that subscribe button. I don't know, the bell, subscription, the like, the like. Oh yeah, do that too. And um, see you on the next video.